Hey guys, Andy Murray and John Isner face off in a couple hours. I think this is a really interesting matchup and I expect a very competitive match. Murray and Isner have never played each other. And if you had given me this matchup six months ago, I'd say that Murray wins in straights. But Isner has really raised the level of his game recently. He is playing big man tennis, those are his words. And what that means is he's hitting a big serve, he's going for it on his forehand when he gets a look, and he's coming to net. So he's playing very aggressively, more aggressively than he's played in the past when he would grind a little bit more from the baseline. And at 6'10", that's really not what Isner should be doing. So he shifted away from that. And it's also worth noting that Isner's backhand is much improved. Now Andy Murray, as most of us know, has a lot of variety in his game, a ton of variety, and he's got great placement, but he's not a super aggressive player. He could play aggressively, but he's more content to work the ball around the court, play more of a counter puncher style. So you're gonna have a guy who's gonna be taking a lot of big cuts versus someone who's gonna get a lot of balls back, keep a lot of balls in play. And that means Isner's gonna have a lot of opportunities to swing away, to go on offense. And let's take a step back and talk about, uh, let me read a quote from what Roger Federer said last year when he was asked about the Murray matchup, asked about playing Andy Murray. And he said, when we both play well, it's a close match, but I always feel it's the attacker who holds the key to success. So it's up to me whether I win or lose, not up to him. That's why I don't mind playing, that's why I don't mind the matchup, to be honest. So what Roger's saying is that the guy who goes on offense is the one who dictates the terms of the match. So does that mean that Isner is going to be dictating the terms of the match? And what does that mean in terms of his chances? Well, let's take another step back. And I've got a list of players up here. Some of you all probably know what this list is. It's the last, it's 2009, the guys that beat Murray in the majors. Radasco at the Australian Open, Gonzalez at the French, Roddick at Wimbledon and Silic at the US Open. What do all these guys have in common? They are all big hitters. Big forehand, big forehand, big serve, et cetera, forehand. I mean, they, these guys can all take control of the point and dictate the terms and put the ball away. And Isner is, certainly has that ability and is playing like a big man. He's playing big man tennis. He's going for his shots. So does this mean I think Isner is gonna win this match? No, I don't. I think Murray's going to win in four sets. I think it'll be close. Isner certainly has a shot. If he's serving real big and can get a lot of the sets to tiebreakers, he's going to have an opportunity to win the match. But what separates Isner from these guys here? Well, the main thing, in my view, is the movement. Isner is moving better than he has in the past, but he does not move as well as these guys. And what that means is... Isner's not going to be able to turn as many neutral rallies into offensive opportunities as some of these other players. Now, Roddick, for example, he dropped 15 pounds last year, and his movement's a lot better. And that really helped him when he was playing Murray because you'd have a lot of situations where Andy would be able to get set for the ball and take a big cut on his forehand, but maybe earlier in his career, he wouldn't quite be on balance. He might be running through the ball. Maybe there's a, a ball coming to his backhand that he couldn't run around. So movement is huge when you're trying to go on offense because if you can get to where you need to be a little bit earlier, be on a little bit better balance, then that allows you to be more aggressive. Now Isner at 6'10", well, he does not move as well as these guys. And as a result, he is not going to be able to go on offense as much simply by virtue of his footwork. He's not going to be in position to take as many big cuts as some of these guys. And as a result, that's why I think Murray is going to win this match. I think with his great placement, he's going to be able to keep Isner off balance enough to prevent Isner from taking control of a lot of neutral rallies. And again, I think it's going to be four sets. What Isner needs to do is serve huge and try and get as many sets as possible to tiebreakers because if he gets to a breaker, then the serve becomes more of an asset and he has a better shot of winning. Once again, we're giving away a $25 gift card courtesy of TennisExpress.com to the person who best predicts the score of this match. So please rate this video, subscribe to our channel, and then post your prediction in the comments below. And you have up until when the match starts, so good luck.
Want to know the secret to Roger Federer's forehand? Click the link in the description and sign up for our 100% free course.